Hello second form, so this is our second remote lesson and before we start I just wanted to congratulate a couple of you on your lovely preps. So here's the prep that Poppy did which she, she took a copy of and sent through to me on show my homework so that's beautifully setting it all out so well done Poppy and then this was the one I got through from Phoebe this morning again really nicely done so very well done to, to both of you that's great so if others of you want to um, just send through your preps uh, your, your work when you've done it your work you're doing from home when you've done it I'll, I'll include it on that the next time I, I do a video so as you know yesterday's remote lesson one was all on the this algebra under section 12 so today we're just going to be looking at section 13 which is the scatter graphs. So um, if you want to title it up um, you can either call it 19.2 revision 2 I think I would and then say so our second revision lesson we're, we're revising correlation and scatter graphs which we did back under 13.1 did it back in January oh no February 24th of February. So um, just to remind you what's going on with these. So we're given some data. So for example, this data. So I've started by plotting all the points. So we've got height along the bottom, along the x-axis, and the number of leaves on the y-axis. So I've started off by plotting the coordinate 6, 1. So 6 along the corridor, 1 up the stairs. It's that cross there. And then 28, 16. 28 along the corridor, 16 up the stairs, and so on. So I've plotted all of those coordinates. Um, oh, I forgot to do part B. It asked me to comment on the correlation of this graph. Well, I forgot to say that this is positive correlation because we're going up from left to right. So the, the correlation is positive because we're going upwards. Now, for part C and part D, they're asking me to work out information from the scatter graphs. Now, when you're doing this, you must start off by drawing a line of best fit. So what you do, just by eye, you get your ruler out and you draw a line through all the points, trying to have as many points above the line as below. And just like it says up here under part, part point three, if you've got the odd point that's just completely out of sync with all the others, you ignore that. You exclude any obvious outliers. So don't be tempted to bring your line of best, best fit further down to sort of include this point. So. Now the next thing we look at we looked at was the various types of correlation. So we have positive correlation when the two variables increase together. We have negative correlation when one variable decreases as the other increases. And thirdly, there can just be no relationship between the two variables at all. And we call that no correlation. So these were the four examples we've looked at, which I've called one, two, three, and four. See if you can remember for each of these, which type of correlation we would say. So each of these, were they A, B, or C? So pause the video while you have a think. Okay, so number one is going to be positive correlation, A, because as the child gets older, you would expect his height to, or her height to increase. So as age increases, the heights will increase. You're going to have a general trend upwards. The same with number two. Uh, as, a, as a fish gets longer, you would expect its weight to get bigger. So as length increases, weight increases, there's a general trend upwards. Now, for number three, as the temperature gets hotter, you would imagine on the whole people aren't, aren't cold. Now, we're going to work through the same worksheet that we work through um, in class. So, what I've done, I've gone and popped them, or well, most of the questions, onto this single sheet. If you're just trying to save paper a bit and you don't want to print too much off. So, I think it might be quite small, but this, there's an option just to print this slide off if you just want to um, only want use one piece of paper. But what I will do when I include the show my homework, uh, on show my homework, I will give you a link through. Question two, so pause the video. Okay, so we've got to add these extra two points here. So for, and when the height is 65, the length is 100. So that's that point there. And when the height is 80, the length is 110, and that's that point there. Now, describe the relationship. Now, you've got to be very careful with the wording. If it asks you to describe the correlation, then you would have said 
positive correlation. But when it asks you to just describe the relationship, you've just got to put it into normal English. So you're just going to say something like, the greater the height of the sheep, the greater the length. So something like that. Now, to answer part C, when I've got to estimate from my graph, remember to put in a line of best fit. You must put in a line of best fit. So the height... Question 3. So, uh, here is information for three more students, so make sure you've gone and plotted those three points. My red one, my purple one, my blue one. What type of information does this scatter graph show? Uh, what type of correlation? It's positive correlation, and then draw a line of best fit, so nice and easy. Question four. So I've added these two extra points to my graph, the purple one and the green one. Um, what type of correlation? Well, it's negative, and again, I've drawn a line of best fit. Question five. So, um, you just got to make sure you don't miss this little bit of information here. Show this information on the scatter graph. So, you've got to plot when the rainfall is 6.1, we sold 32 umbrellas. So, that's that point there in purple. Now, what type of correlation? Well, it's positive, it's going uphill. Now, before you can answer the estimate, remember to put in your line of best fit. So, 40 umbrellas, I've taken a reading, and I've got seven. Again, as long as your reading ties in with your line of best fit, you will get full marks. And finally, question six. So describe the relationship between the number of pages in a book and the time how it takes to read it. Well, again, it's asking for the relationship, not the correlation. So something like the greater the number of pages, the longer the time taken to read the book. Now for part B, we've got an estimate, so you must put in your line of best fit. And then using that, the book's got 150 pages. I would estimate a, read, a time taken of 7.6 hours. But again, as long as your answer ties in with your line of best fit, you will get full marks. So that's the end of Remote Lesson 2. Uh, I look forward to hopefully seeing some of you sending them through on Show My Homework. Just take a photo and just send it through. It doesn't have to be all of it, just an extract. And I'll make sure I start off the next video, including your lovely work. So take care and speak to you soon.